Welcome back to another episode of Bob Montego. Uh, people often ask me to do videos on housing, um, you know, how to build houses from when they're living abroad in Jamaica. And um, I found this list that I had uh, prepared for a friend who asked me to just to give her a couple um, listings of stuff um, that would make it easier for her to build her house while she's living in New York. Um, you know, but before I do this, you know, I, I, uh, I, I like doing these videos because I think they are very helpful to people, even though sometimes I get some very snotty com comments and, uh, you know, that throws me off, but I do like doing them because people, um, are benefiting from them. And, uh, I have to say too, that please be reminded that, you know, taking advantage of real estate in Jamaica is a very very valuable and very important thing all right um, it can be very valuable if done properly and so I always encourage people if you have a piece of land in Jamaica um, build something on it or utilize it in some way for business um, so you know having said that I just want to say also that with my videos please understand that I'm not a building contractor I'm not an engineer um, I'm none of those my dad was um, my dad is actually a retired contractor but I'm not I may know a few things but it doesn't mean that that is a total picture of what I'm actually saying all right having given that disclaimer I just want to say that um, the information I'm giving you um, has their sources to them and you can actually go look at them yourselves in fact I encourage you to go look at them uh, yourself all right so one agency I do want to um, tell you um, that you can go look for information uh, first and foremost is the incorporated master builders Association um, of Jamaica all right, they deal with a lot of uh, prices and rates and um, information that you may find uh, very valuable. There's also what's called the, the independent contractor rate sheet, um, you know, uh, of uh, independent contractors in Jamaica that may be helpful uh, to you when trying to find out prices of uh, construction rates and stuff like that. Um, your parish council, your local parish council in Jamaica, um, you know, check with the parish council, see what their rates for buildings are, and um, you know, you can get rates of uh, square footage of plans and um, uh, so forth and stuff like that. Now, please understand, even though there is a standard price rate, it doesn't mean that uh, a builder, a contractor, you get is going to charge you that you may have a good relationship with some people like a like a, a skilled mason and they may give you one rate that you may not be able to get from another skilled mason um, and also skilled mason varies uh, people have different skill sets people provide different services in addition to the basic um, requirement of a mason or um, stuff like that so please understand if you do have um, you know certain relationship if you live in certain communities and you have certain relationship with the people um, uh, there uh, you may have uh, someone who's a mason and um, you know from from your past all right um, but uh, having said that I just want to quickly give you some rates um, because I get asked these rates very very often and I found this little list that I made for a friend um, uh, who asked me uh, not too long ago about some prices so I'm gonna read to you some prices okay all right so um, standardly um, based on the, uh, the the Master Builders Association of Jamaica they are saying that to build a house will run you um, somewhere between six thousand five hundred to seven thousand um, Jamaican dollars per square foot please understand that wherever you live in the world if it's the US Canada or England there is a currency um, equivalency uh, you know that you have to you have to actually work out the the, the, the currency rate all right so don't be alarmed by the six thousand five hundred um, to seven thousand um, Jamaican dollars okay all right um, 
So, when you're building a house, here's the big deal. First, you're going to need to line out that house. They need to use the cords and, and sticks and stuff to line out the size, the actual foundation size of the house. All right? To line out the house is going to run you um, uh, about $180 Jamaican dollars per, uh, per running foot, meaning the measurement not square foot, but running foot all the way around, $180 per uh, running foot. To dig out that foundation, you are going to, um, it's going to cost you roughly about $960 per cubic yard. Cubic yard means the depth, the width, and uh, the whole um, uh, area when you dig out, down, up, and, and sideways. All right, so digging out, will, the foundation will run you roughly about $960 per cubic yard then um, you're gonna need to uh, also um, cast that foundation that you've dug out all right and casting the foundation is gonna run you about three hundred and eighty dollars per running foot again not square foot but running foot the measurement all the way around so casting will run you roughly about three hundred and eighty um, dollars per uh, running foot okay um, next, you are going to, um, it, well, digging out the foundation itself. There's a cost to it. Um, if you're digging out and you're using um, a person, uh, digging out the foundation uh, could run you roughly about uh, uh, $1,920. Um, I'm sorry. Digging out the foundation with a compressor is going to run you roughly about $3,900. Uh, dollars per cubic yard and we're talking about digging out uh, roughly about three feet to five feet deep okay um, once you've done that you are going to need to erect columns to support uh, whatever building blocks you're gonna build there so digging out the columns um, will run you about uh, nine thousand I'm sorry one thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars for each column Right, that's to dig out the foot of the column. It's going to run you about $1,920 to dig out each column. Then to erect the column, it's going to run you roughly about $380 per running foot. All right, again, to erect the column, it's going to run you about $380 um, per running foot. Okay, once you've done that, you are now going to need to lay blocks. Laying the blocks, uh, laying four inches or six inches blocks um, consecutively will is as follows. For four inch block, to lay four inch block, it's gonna run you $620 per square yard for those, um, those blocks. The area of uh, a square yard will run you about $620 to lay four inch block. To lay six inch block, it's gonna run you about $690 per square yard to lay those six inch blocks once you've laid the blocks and you go up you're going to need to belt those blocks um, that's called the belting all right so to put up the belting like the wood and all of that stuff it's gonna run you roughly about three hundred and forty dollars um, per running foot to put up the belting um, structure the wooding part right so three hundred and forty dollars per running foot for the the belting to belt all those blocks um, in preparation to take a decking or whatever you're gonna put up there all right to cast that belting because once you put up the wooding structure to take um to, to take the belting you're gonna need to cast it with cement all right and steel and so that the casting of the belting is gonna run you about three hundred and forty dollars per running foot now please understand this, that this uh, is not the entire picture of construction, right? But it's at least giving you some idea, some ideas of, um, uh, you know, of some, some, some variable cost, all right? Um, this also is what a contractor would charge you if, they're, if, you're, if they are um, contracted to build your house. This is what it would actually charge. Please understand that for them, uh, many times materials and 
different um, the materials and skills and stuff like that are involved okay but you always want to double check to make sure that that's actually the case with them and contractors may vary right some may price themselves um, above others for different reasons but please make sure you're understanding it all right um, in having said that though a uh, skilled a skilled mason can do you a whole lot of good a skilled mason can do you a whole lot of good um, the difference is however you will have to buy or source your materials yourself with a little help from them you can ask them where to get um, what and stuff but you're pretty much going to be in charge of buying and paying for your materials all right when you use a skill mason but the prices I gave you again those are from uh, 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 what the contractors generally uh, will charge you but a skill mason will run you somewhere in the region and again um, I'm just telling you some uh, some masons will price themselves above others for different reasons but um, a skill mason you should um, be expecting a skill mason to run somewhere between the cost of nine thousand dollars a day to um, to say I'm gonna say about twelve thirteen maybe fourteen um, hundred dollars all right so, uh, I mean fourteen thousand dollars all right um, so that's the price for a skill mason um, please understand again that one of the best way to take advantage of um, cheap prices is to go along with the skill mason charging you um, in job work job work meaning if the, if the foundation has to be dug out you pay them for the entire foundation they give you a price what it's gonna cost not what it's gonna cost per day per person but they they'll give you a cost of what it will run to dig out the foundation they will give you a, a, a cost also what it will cost to put up all the columns they'll give you a cost of how much it's gonna cost to um, to um, to lay um, a thousand blocks you know like they may say well to lay a hundred blocks um, is gonna run you ten thousand dollars and you know and and um, they'll that will make it easier for you my suggestion my personal suggestion is that you do your thing in job work job work will work out a whole lot cheaper for you and a whole lot less headache because when you when you pay people and I'm telling you this Jamaicans my people I'll tell you when you pay Jamaicans in day work um, sometimes you know a guy have to take a break to um, you know to, to do this or do that and uh, uh, let, let's face it sometimes a guy will want to take a break to to, to, to smoke a spliff or you know to get charged up or or something you know and um, those things can cut into your time and before you know it you know a guy has to leave to go get something um, and uh, blah 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 and the day gone by and your your daily rate um, it, it just doesn't factor out all right so please remember those things again um, a skill mason can do everything um, I just explained to you um, the contractor can do it's just that you're gonna pay you're gonna have to pay him for his time and you're gonna have to buy your material with some help from him where to source what and what to buy um, and he probably give you an estimate um, and so forth all right so I hope um, what I just said um, actually is helpful to you please do not take this to be Bible and verse um, I know a lot of people sometimes like to drop some snotty uh, uh, comments, um, you know, and uh, please, that's not necessary. All I'm trying to do here is to um, help someone understand uh, a little bit about building in Jamaica when you're, when you're abroad. Even when you're in Jamaica, you may not know this too. So, um, you know, uh, this is primarily how to, to, um, to help someone uh, do their construction. If you think there's something that a person can benefit from uh, please um, feel free to make a comment and do so nicely please because there's nothing done here that is intending on hurting anyone all right uh, I want to thank you again for watching Bob Montego and if you have not yet done so um, please like share and subscribe to my videos and um, tell someone about it thanks again for watching